So a lot of Americans tend to think that if you mix any kind of fruit juice with tequila, you're basically making a margarita or some kind of variation on a margarita. Today's cocktail is a perfect example of this confusion. If you look it up online, you're gonna find a ton of recipes that list it as a refreshing grapefruit margarita. Nothing could be further from the truth. This cocktail owes nothing to the margarita. It's not a margarita, it is its own thing. My friends, let me introduce you to the Paloma. So, the Paloma is traditionally a tequila highball made with squirt, an inexpensive grapefruit soft drink, but it can also be made using fresh squeezed juices and seltzer, as suggested by Ivy Mix in her book Spirits of Latin America. It's a tough bar book to drink your way through due to the breadth of ingredients required, but it's a fantastic read, with helpful insight and instruction for bartenders, and a great overall view of the Latin American spirits industry and the people behind it. So today, I'm going to compare both versions of this drink and give you my thoughts on the comparison. Starting with the original version, it couldn't be any easier. Add two ounces of tequila to a Collins glass. Add an ice beer or a few smaller cubes. Top with the soda of your choice. And I should say that I chose Squirt here after looking for Juarito's grapefruit soda locally for a couple of days and striking out. I could have bought from a couple other high-end brands, but I decided that perhaps Squirt would have been the more authentic and traditional choice anyways. Well, that's all there is to it. So I'll set that aside and mix up the fresh version. I'm gonna need a lime and a grapefruit, and I'll need slices of each for the garnish. Once that's done, I'll need three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, three quarters of an ounce of grapefruit juice, and two ounces of tequila. Shake that with ice, add an ice beer to a Collins glass, and strain the cocktail over it. and top with seltzer. I wish the ice beer was a bit thinner so I could have added more seltzer to the glass, but c'est la vie. Add the lime wheel and half a slice of grapefruit for the garnish. Drop in the straw and it's time to give these a taste. All right, time for the fun part. Let's give these a taste. So I'm gonna start with the traditional Paloma made with squirt. Okay, so that's really tasty. It's pretty sweet. I definitely think that some sort of a craft soda, um, something like Juaritos or Fever Tree or Jamaican Ting, as in the real Ting, those are all fantastic grapefruit sodas. I think even Q Tonic makes a grapefruit soda. Any of those would be better than the Squirt. It's not bad, but it's pretty darn sweet. The tequila and Squirt go together really well, but it's um, it feels like you just spiked some, some soda pop. That's kind of what it tastes like, which is not a bad thing. I mean, yeah, I'd happily drink this at a summer party. This is, uh, this is good stuff. All right, now let's try this elevated version. I was hoping that it would be a little bit more pink in color. Even though I'm using ruby red grapefruit, uh, there's only three quarters of an ounce, so it just, it came out pretty, pretty pale, and this glass isn't helping that. Let's give it a try. Whoa. That is a whole nother thing. If I didn't say it before, this is the first time I've tried this recipe and wow, that is refreshing. That is, that is really good. Let me get in here a little bit more. So there's the same amount of tequila in both of these glasses and it's the exact same tequila but this one tastes much more balanced it tastes like there's about half the tequila in this glass as this glass and um, like i just said there isn't but this just blends together really really well this one has a little bit more of a bite to it well maybe not maybe i maybe my first sip of tequila just punched me in the face yeah now tasting them again i i have to take that statement back. They, it, it doesn't taste stronger. I think it was just that first whiff of tequila. So this is pretty good, but this is way better. Obviously it's got fresh fruit juice in it, so it's got much more of a citrus bite to it, a much more complex flavor going on. They're both pretty tasty, but hands down, I gotta give it to Ivy Mix, she is right. The fresh recipe is definitely better than Squirt. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. 
Uh, let me know how easy is it to get a craft grapefruit soda in your area. I hunted for a couple of days in my town and realized I was either going to have to drive about 45 minutes to an hour to try and get something. I decided to go with Squirt because I wanted to do the traditional recipe, but I know it would be way better with some sort of high-end grapefruit soda. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Luke. This is the homemade edition, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.